Hi everybody, this is a homage to Celine Dion today and her most iconic Grammy award winning song, My Heart Will Go On. From the repertoire of songs that she's ever, ever performed, this is the one that unifies all the fans and it's the one that brings together everybody in unison at any concert or any performance. Now amongst all the performances, I found one in the Music Billboard 2017, a performance of this song that I think really expresses the emotions that the heart gives. She always puts a different twist and in interpretation in every performance of this song, in every stadium around the world, tour after tour after tour. There's always something different she does and adds to it. But I think the assembler of the dress, the purity of the white colour, the voice, the setting, the lightings, the intimacy of the audience, the fact it's not in a massive big arena, makes this version, in my opinion, the best version. I'm doing it in homage of Celine Dion because she's battling, according to rumours late, lately, a second illness of cancer, not just stiff syndrome, SPS. She's also battling away with breast diagnosis of cancer. Now she's had the lump removed, but she's also enduring the effects of medication, therapy, all of that. On top of the therapy, on top of the medication, she was taken for stiff syndrome. And what I've seen on YouTube is so disparaging, so upsetting that this song, My Heart Will Go On, my heart does go on for it because I want her to be well. I want her to perform. She lost Renee. She battled to have children. She reared her family of three. She w she's got everything to live for. She's performed to multi-millions of people around the world. She's so iconic. From Eurovision days, check out her Eurovision reaction that I've done on my channel. Actually, I'll attach it to this. And it's something to savor when we first in Europe saw Celine burst onto the screen. And at the time, Renee was her manager and they went on to have the family that she's had. Since then, Renee has departed and this song has become quite iconic for other reasons that in certain concerts, she reaches up to the sky with her finger, very like the Italian famous painting of the two fingers uh, touching each other. And it's almost her spiritual reach to Rene that her heart will always go on in her music and her performances because of him. She'll never forget him. And how could she? He, he was the love of her life. And she is in the music industry, the love of most people's lives. I've just got this to say, Celine, if it's true about your battle with cancer, I am so sorry to hear that. And I felt it justifiably so to come and do a reaction from the heart to say thank you to say thank you, not to react to any particular part of this video, but just in homage to say, my heart will always go on through your music. A very interesting fact before we play the song. My partner used to be with Principales Cuatro Años, which is a franchise of radio stations around Spain. And he was a DJ. And often here in Ireland, because he's moved to Ireland to, to be with myself, 16 years together we are very happy and he's from Bilbao and he worked in the head office there in Bilbao and he did presenting on the radio before he came to Ireland to be an accountant now the summary is this we were going through a lot of the top 100 hits over the last 20 years and consistently Celine came up and it was just a quote that he made. He said, isn't it incredible that Celine Dion's voice and music stands out from all the others? And that was a Spanish man's perspective on this extraordinary superstar icon and legacy that is Celine Dion. I'll read something out about the, the updates because people would like to know and that's what this channel's about as well. About the update from the 54-year-old has been struggling with SP SPS for over a year. She's also had to postpone her tours in April of 2022. I'm so sorry if we've had to change our plans for Europe, she said, one more time. First, we had to move the shows because of the pandemic. Now it's my health issues causing us to postpone these shows. I'm doing a little better, but I'm still experiencing some spasms. 
she revealed via Instagram in April of 22. The mum of three not only had to postpone the tour in 22, but she was forced to do the same in December of that year, as her condition had not improved for her to return to the stage. So in April, Celine said she was doing a little better last year. However, she followed through by saying the recovery was going slower than thought and hoped. And eight months later, sadly, Celine was not recovering at the speed she had hoped. The condition affects her ability to walk, use her vocal cords at 100% capacity and more. I've had a good team of doctors, she said, around me and my precious children who are supporting me and giving me hope. Selena assured her supporters in December, I'm working hard with my sports medicine therapist every day to build back my strength and ability to perform again. The talented artists came forward about the health condition last year in January 2022. However, she had revealed the, she had not revealed the official diagnosis. Celine released that statement via Instagram when she shared it with her 5.5 million followers that severe pain and persistent muscle spasms are preventing her from performing. Now, she did go on um, to create music for the 2023 film Love Again that starred uh, Priyanka Chopra. More so, the Canadian native will appear for the film in it as a guest appearance. But will she? Did she? I don't know. I'd have to follow that through. In addition, her sister Claudette reported to an outlet, Macra, I'm confident that life will give her back what she gave because she is an extremely intelligent woman, very generous, talented and in love with life as well. And we are in love with you, Celine. Claudette said of Celine, rather than crying over her fate, I send her positive vibes in the hope that one day she'll go back on stage. I truly believe in the power of love. I wish it the best of luck, that's for sure. She's surrounded by specialists as she works to recover the prayers of her family and fans, that I know. That she can be assured of, Claudette. We're all praying for her. Let's listen to this performance and I'll get through the lyrics as quickly as I can. But if it's true that you're battling cancer as well, Celine, my heart will go on in my prayers for you, that you make a full, full recovery because they say God works in mysterious ways. Let's hope he grants you that peace that you're looking for, health-wise, mental-wise, and physical-wise. You've given so much physically and mentally to all of us through your performances. You deserve the yin and yang in your life. I wish it for you. Take it away, Celine Dion, with her best performance, in my opinion, of my heart will go on. interference during this video.
Sorry for the interference during that. There's nothing I could do because no matter how many times I played that personally to myself, that particular video always did that. So I don't know if it's a fault in the video, but I hope it didn't take away from her performance. Every performance she does in her repertoire around the world when she does her tours of that particular song, there's always something different. But this, with the dress and everything, made her very angelic. And I thought in her time of need, when the angels need to come down and bless her with all the good health in the world, it's something I felt that un would unify a lot of fans in a shared thought, in a shared moment through prayer. I really do. So for that reason, I felt this was the best performance of the song. Let's go into just a little fun with the lyrics. We need to lift up our spirits. It's what Celine would want. She wouldn't want too much upset because God love her as a star. She was so conscientious about approaching her fans and saying, look, I'm so, so, so sorry. Celine, you never, to, you, you never need to be sorry ever about any aspect of what you do, what you cancel, what not. People will wait for you. People adore you, people love you for all the right reasons because of the worth of the person, the performer that you are and the person that you are. For many years, people were putting Celine down about her weight loss, about that she had an affair with some other person and they broke up and this affected her and so on. No, we learned that she had stiff syndrome and kept quiet about it. And she stood on stage and she went through all that pain and suffering by keeping quiet and just delivering to her fans what they wanted, her and her songs. Quite a woman. I don't know many men that could be as brave and that's the truth of it. But we'll quickly go through these. Every night my dreams I see you, I feel you. That's how I know you go on. I'm going to twist this around now to say Every night in our prayers, we see, we feel you, we pray for you, Celine. It continues far across the distance and spaces between us. You have come to show you go on. Far across the distance and spaces could mean the fans across the world that attend your con concert, Celine. And that uni we are unified in hoping that, that through our thoughts, through thanking you for everything that you've done, you'll get to better health. Near far it continues, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more you open the door, and you're here in my heart, and my heart will go on. Let's twist it around, because that's how we feel about you. It's a song that the fans can sing back at Celine, because she opens the door musically. She's in our hearts, lyrically, and our hearts will go on, remembering her and loving her, even if she stops performing, but I hope she doesn't. Love can touch us one more time and last for a lifetime and never let go till we're gone. Well, we're never going to let go to the hope that you get better, Celine. And we'll live through your music until then. You're, you're always around, spiritually, musically. Remember that. Love is when I loved you one more time, I'd hold you. My life will always go on. In reference to Renee, when she points to the sky, some repertoires, we'll pay homage to Renee. That he's looking after you, keeping that third eye on you and the children and keeping you safe. Near far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on. Again, we reference that to Celine, her music, her performances, and what she's given us and what we feel in return. Our hearts will go on. You have half a heart, Celine. Your fans have the other half. Put them together. We beat as one and shall always. You're here, there's nothing I fear, and I know that my heart will go on. We'll stay forever this way. You are safe in my heart, and my heart will go on. That is her dedication to her fans and how she feels. And in return, Celine, we feel the same. It's a sweet homage of Celine Dion, my heart will go on. I hope you've enjoyed it. You're in our prayers, Celine, always. May you get better soon back on that stage where you belong. We wish it. Take care for now.